Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode of What's On Your Mind with Josh Kajian. So a few weeks ago, I was listening to a podcast called Flying Coach, and the hosts of it are Steve Kerr and Pete Carroll. So Steve Kerr is the head basketball coach for the Golden State Warriors. Pete Carroll is the head football coach for the Seattle Seahawks. Also was the head coach for the USC Trojans a few years back and won a couple national titles. So very distinguished coaches and have had success throughout their careers. Um, on their podcast, they also brought on Dave Roberts, who's the manager for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And it was a really interesting podcast because you had three leaders of three different sports teams. And it was really awesome to be able to hear these guys talk about their experiences and how they handle working with different players. So they talked about things like uh, the benefits of drafting multi-sport athletes. They talked about analytics in their sports and how they're able to incorporate that into how they coach while also not overcomplicating things. But the one thing that really stood out to me throughout their conversation was just the importance of relationships, the importance of being able to connect with all of your players. And so each one of them has a different amount of players that they work with. For example, Pete Carroll's got 53 guys on his active roster every week on top of his coaching staff. Well, how do you stay connected with guy number one and guy number 53? They asked uh, Steve Kerr the same thing. You have 12 to 15 guys on a basketball bench, but again, some guys just simply get zero minutes game to game. How do you keep those guys interacted and how do you keep them engaged? Dave Roberts, same thing, one through 25, and especially bullpen guys or bench players, how do you keep these guys locked in? How do you keep them focused if they're only playing every three or four days? And it was really, really interesting for me to hear how they did it. And so what they did, Pete Carroll really talked about just making sure that you go up to everybody, having conversations with them. So what he did was throughout stretch, he goes up to every single player and tries to just see how they're doing, ask them what's going on, how's life, that, those types of things. Steve Kerr does the same things. Um, Dave Roberts as well. And what they kind of talked about too was just like, being almost a social butterfly in practices, just bouncing around group to group, checking in with guys, just showing them that you do care about them, showing them a little bit of love because sometimes, it's, and especially those guys that are on the end of the bench or maybe that aren't playing as much, it's so important to be able to show them that yes, I do recognize them as a manager and yes, I appreciate your contributions because what can happen if we don't do those types of things is that it can create um, cracks in the team it can make it very difficult and you can end up having little clicks and different sort of things going on that as a coach, you don't wanna be dealing with as the season goes on. So it's really important to stay checked in with all of your players, have relationships with everybody. As a mental performance coach, we work with everybody. We work with that, the first guy on the roster and in baseball, that 25th man. So it's very important to have those relationships and it was awesome to be able to hear these three professional coaches uh, talk about that. So if you're a coach out there, or even any sort of business leader, check in with the people that you work with. See how they're doing, how can you help them? Not just your top performers, but also the ones who are struggling a little bit. Show them some love, show them that you care. Because it's so much easier to wanna to be able to perform and play for somebody that you know cares about you. And so there's a the saying that, they don't care how much you know until you show them how much you care. Same, that you can apply that anywhere. So I want you guys today to think about the people that you work with and think about the people that maybe need a little bit more love, a little bit more caring and understanding from you and go out there and do it. Go out there and, and have a positive impact on somebody and, and really inspire somebody. That's what I want you guys to do for today. So thank you guys and we'll see you back here next week.